Hi, I'm Scott DeGraff. I'm Marketing Director at Woodard Cleaning and Restoration. I'm here with Scott Vandover, who is Vice President of Restoration. And Scott is one of our CE presenters. He is also a certified restorer, one of only about 400 active in this country. So that kind of puts him in uh, high esteem in the restoration industry. Scott's uh, going to be presenting for our Mitigating the Lost Smoke and Fire Damage class. And this is a continuing education class for insurance and real estate professionals. Scott, tell me about the class. As you mentioned, our classes are geared towards insurance and uh, property management professionals. So they're getting a lot of calls on, on fire damage situations. What we want to try to impart in people is that, you know, imagine the aftermath of a fire. Uh, the firemen are gone. You have some water damage. You have some smoke damage. Uh, folks tend to think that the damage has been done and you know now we can kind of regroup and and you know take a few days and see what we need to do that couldn't be further from the truth the reality is the damage is still there uh and it's still um, um progressing if you will because one thing we do know is that all smoke residues uh contain acid uh so those acids are corrosive and the longer you wait to mitigate that damage or at least put a band-aid on it uh, the more damage can be done to your contents and your structure. While it's just sitting there, people don't assume that the damage is continuing, but it is. Depending upon the type of smoke, which is another, uh, one of the other lessons we'll learn in this class is there's four basic types of smoke. There's dry smoke, there's wet smoke, uh, there's smoke from synthetics or plastic, and there's protein fires from burnt meat or poultry. Uh, and depending on which one you have and what's laying all over your belongings and your structure determines how soon or how late we can get to those items uh, to do a proper restoration. Okay, normally the electronics are some of the first that we pull out because the damage on the circuit boards can uh, absolutely. continue on. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, there are mitigation techniques where we go in right after the house. We don't necessarily need to take everything out right now, uh, but there's some mitigation things that we need to do to preserve and protect some of those things until we can get them out of the house. Electronics are usually the first. Uh, you know, example, electronic wise, you know, uh, usually within the first uh, nine to 10 days, you know, you can have 95% success rate on computers and electronics. You extend that another two weeks and you've cut that time in half on whether that piece is restorable. Um, the chances of that piece being salvageable uh, are a lot less the longer you wait. So the importance is uh, just because the fire is out and the fireman is left doesn't mean you have time to regroup and figure out what you're going to do. Damage is happening while you're waiting. So you need to get a restoration company involved immediately, at least to do the mitigation effort on the property. Okay. Now, regarding the smoke, uh, people always complain about the smoke odor. Uh, eliminating the smoke odor is part of this class? Uh, yes. You know, eliminating smoke odor, we'll talk about, uh, there's a lot of different methods out there that really work well on eliminating odor. Uh, you know, and that's kind of the misnomer of, of fire and, and smoke damage is, you know, uh, the house filled up with smoke, everything smells, it's never gonna be the same. The reality is the smoke odor uh, is the easiest thing for us to correct. Uh, unless it's cosmetically damaged, uh, you know, not appealing to the eye anymore. We never really worry about smoke odor. That's usually not a problem. Because we can get it out. That's the key point. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Very good. These are some of the key points that are going to be expressed in the continuing education course on mitigating the damage, smoke and fire damage. And uh, Scott is one of the presenters and we hope to see you there. Check our website for details of when this class is coming up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.